Hey everyone, I've just arrived at Epic Campus. Epic is a medical software company that has a really interesting campus where all of their employees come to work every day. Apparently every section of the campus is themed in a different theme. So I'm taking you guys with me to see what this place is all about. Let's go. About 12 miles south of Madison in Verona, Wisconsin is this strange campus of a tech company you may not have ever heard of, but whose products you have probably interacted with. Epic creates electronic health record software, which can be found really everywhere in the health industry. It was founded in 1979 and today has over 10,000 employees. And the campus, with its 1,100 acres of themes and whimsy, is designed for the comfort, productivity, and creativity of its employees. And outside visitors are completely welcome to come and do self-guided tours of their campus. So we went in and chose two different campuses to tour. I'm not sure if you can do more than that in one day, but these are the ones we chose. We're gonna go through step-by-step, step, sort of like a scavenger hunt. And uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and let's just see the sights. Let the stars light your way to the heaven building and ring the doorbell at the elevator to hell, if you dare. Here's the moon. and let's let the stars light our way. <laughs> I'm gonna press some buttons. This is the devil calling. You've got hell to pay. Press one for Visa, two for MasterCard, three for American Express. And I'm assuming this is the stairway to heaven. Ah. We still haven't even gotten to the start of like the first tour. This is just getting to King's Cross Station and then from there we're going to explore a campus. So we're still getting through to that first starting point. At the end, I'm going to decide which campus I would prefer to work in out of everything that we see today. Walk straight ahead and take the orange elevators on our left, down two levels to G1. I spy a Cheshire Cat. That came right off. <laughs> Skip along the yellow brick road until you reach the Emerald City. I haven't skipped in like 83 years. <laughs> Here we go. There's a haunted forest that way.
here we got Augustus Gloop. Next up is Grimm. And if you look over here, it sort of looks like German inspired building. Self tours are from 10 to 3, and it's already 1. So we need to finish the storybook campus and then head to the Wizards Academy, do all of that. The three little pigs and mother goose. Rapunzel's hair. It's this way to the gingerbread house. You could also tell by the uh, breadcrumbs. Oh, now we're transitioning to this pathway and then we found it. Look, it looks totally safe. We should come in and eat whatever we'd like. Which part do you guys like most so far? I think I'm partial to the mystery area. So look at how sprawling this is. It's crazy to think we've been in all of them. Okay, now we've arrived at the rabbit hole. Oh, oh cool, look. Up here. All right, here we go. Everything's upside down, including me. Next up, we have Wizards Academy. So we're heading back to King's Cross. You can see that train. We're taking a quick break here in King's Cross. I can't tell if this is supposed to be Diagon Alley. Uh, I don't recognize any of the names, but maybe they're not allowed to say like specific Harry Potter words legally. I don't know. We'll see. Keep left of the book drop and wind down the hallway until you see the oversized books ahead. Is this right? Yeah. Veer left and walk past these larger than life tomes. I may be finally ready to share my Hermione lines with the world. Back when those movies came out, I memorized some lines in horrendous accent. this meeting room. Mandrake, or Mandragora, is used to return those who have been petrified to their original state. It's also quite dangerous. The Mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Which way are you guys leaning? Where would you want to work? There weren't clear instructions on how to get back from the Wizarding Academy area to where we came in, where we're parked. So we've just been reading all the instructions backwards and retracing our steps. And now we just came from the stairway to heaven. And now here's the door to hell. So I think we're gonna take some bikes and maybe ride around a little bit. We've seen other people doing it, so we assume it's okay for visitors to use these bikes. I hope. 